okay girls so let me continue I gave you an example of apple I can give you examples many examples or you can ask anyone at home holding many examples around you that what tell me the property so when I say physical property okay physical the word physical remember physical that means it is asking you the shape the color the texture texture means how is it is it soft is it hard okay and sometimes even like example when you strike two stones together the sound it gives the ringing sound like imagine you have two stones in your hand and you just you know try to strike each other or you take a stone or a mineral you remember diamond and scratch to the other mineral so the sound also it comes under physical property you can observe a physical property without changing the matter into a new substance i don't have to change the ice cube to water to tell its property you don't have to change a matter to say the physical property okay for a physical property i can say directly i will ask you tell me the physical property of this brush you will say it's black in color the brush have hair inside the brush the the hairs are soft so this is how you explain the physical properties now here complete the venn diagram by comparing and contrasting the properties of two stones they have given you this and they give they, they both are they both are stones that means they both are hard they don't have odor they are smooth okay this one shiny and smooth red flat sides and this one which is just like some rough stone it's rough texture it's not smooth here it's gray in color that was red in color irregular surface it doesn't have that flat sides okay so this is how you are comparing the physical property the physical property i'm sure now you know what the physical property means it means the shape the color the size the odor okay and the sound what it gives all these come under physical property so let me summarize here all matter has physical properties you can observe a physical property okay now when i say all matter you will say teacher why do gas how do gas have physical property i cannot see gas you cannot see it but don't you think so it has some volume okay don't you think so it has it's odorless okay so the, the gas we breathe in is actually odorless you can observe a physical property without changing the matter into a new substance so these are the important points odor texture and color are some physical properties no more properties other than color texture and odor these are few physical properties when we come to more physical properties okay please they're saying as you read these two pages circle common everyday words that have a different meaning in science matter and volume okay circle these and let and please don't forget to highlight the vocabulary words what is temperature when i say temperature does it mean it has to be hot always no it can be high temperature it can be low temperature how the motion of particles are moving i will explain you this by drawing particles okay and showing in, i mean maybe tomorrow's lesson i will show when i'm explaining you the the movement of particles i will explain you more in detail about it okay so temperature is the measure of energy of motion of particles you know that even solid have particles even liquid they have particles gas they have particles solid particles they are very 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 compact they touch each other okay they touch and they are arranged in a very proper way in a random random not random sorry uh, in a regular arrangement we say regular regular r e g u l a r anyways uh temperature is a measure of the energy of motion how those particles are moving okay the energy of the motion of the particle in matter that's nothing but temperature this is the scientific definition of temperature goes 